Okay, so there's 15 weeks in a semester for this college class. Okay? Actually, 16. So, what will happen is you'll have two weeks to complete this. That means that I'm sending you on your way with this character. I taught you everything you need to know as far as modeling 2 is concerned. You have sculpting, you have mapping, you have form making, you have layers, you have topology. You, you got a lot of stuff under your belt. Absorb it before you go on to learn any more ZBrush because you'll quickly get into things like here's an example um, a student might ask me in the middle of a modeling 2 class uh, how do you make a material well you know keep in mind that the human brain can only concentrate on one section well and if you concentrate that one section well for a very long time it'll sink into your brain a lot better so keep your modeling 2 in your modeling 2 class keep your texture rendering and lighting in another class because if you start merging them into this giant debacle thing you have you're a jack of all trades but a master of none okay and that's what I'll leave it as so that being said you have everything at your disposal you have two weeks I want you to play around with the idea of higher res detail Okay. So now you can go up in levels, divide, because it has it has good UVs, and get away with it. Um, I would still stay into maybe two million polys maximum for each object. So these this one has two million, this one has two million. I wouldn't go too far out that range, okay? Uh, based upon the machine speed here at the schools. All right, I think that's it. That's all I really want to say. Um, I want you to kind of figure out a little bit on your own, too. I don't want to keep holding your hand. It's week 15. By now, you should have some really good knowledge of ZBrush modeling two skills. All right, enjoy that your assignment is to create this character, map him out, and I want to see him in Maya, see what happens. So. You've seen that process. I want to see the the low and high version. So turn in the high version via ZTL. So I want your ZTL file. And then I want your Maya project, like I showed you before. Okay, a lot of work. Get started. Enjoy. And see you in the next class.